what are some trackpad gestures you have to know especially if you are new to mac this as you can see is my mac but what all do you need to know so for example if you're new to mac just tapping does not work it works on other os's but it does not work on mac unless you enable it so to enable it you have to go to settings but before we enable it you should know how do we click if it's not enabled so you just have to hard press on the trackpad just a gentle press does it you will feel a haptic feedback and that is about it so let's click on system settings i actually like the feedback because it's very nice it's do it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that so once you're in settings on the left side you want to scroll down till you see trackpad click on trackpad once we are in trackpad you want to make sure you have tap to click enabled so now if you just tap on your trackpad like it's a touch screen it's going to work if you disable it however here you can see i'm just trying to select that folder and nothing is happening so again if i turn it on i can just select the folder like it is a touch screen so that is the first thing you want to do then let's say we have a few applications open so i will open up a few windows of brave so how do i know if brave has multiple tabs open so on the right side you can see nothing really is minimized and it doesn't even show you multiple browsers over here so something you can do is take four fingers swipe up and here you can see all the applications that are open are now available to you at a glance so that is very convenient but what if you want to open launchpad with the trackpad and it's not available on the dock either so you can just take four fingers swipe in like that and launchpad is available and this works anywhere so any application it could be brave safari finder it works it is always going to work for you so that is one thing you can always look forward to then again we'll go to settings scroll down to trackpad and then go to more gestures and in more gestures we have machine controls so in trackpad in more gestures we have app expose so let's click on that and i'm just going to set it to three fingers so now every time i take three fingers and swipe down it is going to show me all the windows of that application that are open so this is mainly useful when you're using a lot of tabs or windows on your browser so now i'll take three fingers swipe down and here you can see all the windows that are open i don't have to fuss about it i don't have to go looking for it this is especially useful when i press command plus h it's hidden now i'll again go back to brave and all of this is available at a glance again so that is very helpful as well then we'll go to settings again then this time we want to go to accessibility in accessibility scroll down till you see pointer control click on pointer control and then go to trackpad options over here then you want to turn on use trackpad for dragging if you click that on and then you want to go and click on three finger drag so what this does is help you move any window anywhere you like just with three fingers so i'll go to the top of any application and i'll just move it around like so and it works with any application as you can see and it can be very helpful i tend to turn this option off because i rather want to use the app expose feature than this so if it is useful for you it could work this way but it could not go both ways so that is something you need to know now let's say that you are on a web page but everything is too small it's difficult for you to see even the smaller details so how do you do that so let's say i want this google search button to be enlarged so i'll make sure that my pointer is at the area that i want to zoom into so i'm going to take two fingers and zoom in so here you can see it has zoomed in i'll just zoom out similarly and that is zoomed out so this is going to prove very helpful to you when you really need to zoom in and zoom out it's very easy to understand as well then if you want to go to notification center you just have to go to the time and date over here and click but this also gets very repetitive if you are using it all the time so again for that you take three fingers and swipe in from the left on your trackpad so there is a shortcut for that you can just take three fingers swipe in from the left of your touchpad and there you go you have it over there and if you just swipe back it's just going to go back there you go so it is something if you want to access your widgets or your notifications all the time it's very useful so those were some basic touchpad gestures that you have to know on mac makes your life a lot more easier if you have found the video helpful do drop a like share and subscribe